it all started out, I put my hand up to be a brand ambassador of Recover8. And then after a few weeks, I kind of hadn't worked out my program and I asked if they wanted to jump on board and support me for, for this round just to get some racing in um, before I head to USA. And they said, no problem. Um, Recover8 have you know, a relationship with Raceline. So Raceline built the bikes and that, that's basically how it happened. Yeah, it's been, it's been uh, a pleasure actually. Took a few days just to get used to the Austrian bike, but after that I've been, uh, I put in, you know, two solid weeks before this race and I uh, felt really comfortable and actually I was excited to come here and, well, one, to race, because um, it's been a while, and two, just to kind of see where I'm at and, and three, just to, to get some gate drops before, uh, you know, big USA. Uh, you know, number one plate's kind of normal for me now, it's a, I've had it for a few years, but uh, I guess there's a little bit of well pressure um, just as a racer because I you know I like to win but from recover eight and race line there's no pressure um, you know I'm here because I want to be and it really it's, it doesn't because I'm not in the championship there's, there's not pressure like like there used to be I don't think really good actually really helpful um, everyone lent a hand even the team truck come down to my house to test for a day been to Newcastle doing some testing running the race bike everyone had to play a part so it's been been a real pleasure practice was uh, you know a lot of traffic and kind of pumped up a little bit like I usually would and um, I got a good start in the race and rode really consistent and come home with the win so kind of feel like I've picked up where I left off last year. Well the whole weekend's just the start of a relationship with Recover8. It'll be the beginning of you know a long-term relationship I'm pretty sure.